Hey guys, today I'm going to be making kind of a charm collection, charm update type of video. Um, I know I haven't been making new videos lately, um, so I'm going to try to get more videos up, but yeah. So, here's the container I keep it in, which you guys have probably already seen. So, I keep my charms in three categories. Characters, food, and like miscellaneous stuff. So... I'm going to start with the characters first. So first off, I have yeah, this Sabo Kappa or Sabo or however you say it. Um, just a Sanex character. And I painted the pot because the clay was really dirty. So Yeah, and there's the flower. So then I have... Totoro, and I glazed the leaf, and that's the only part I glazed. Yeah, here's the back with this tail. Then I have this marshmallow bunny, and you can't really see the blush, but I want to make a s'mores one soon. Then you guys have seen this one in my Welcome to Our Channel video. This is the Rilakkuma Honey Bread. And I painted this one, too, because it was dirty. Like, super dirty. I don't know why it was so dirty. Then I have Kurilla Kuma on a strawberry. And I forgot this cat's name. I think it was Nanko Kitty or something like that. Uh, I made this, and I tried to glaze it, but my glaze was really sticky and clumpy, and it was really nasty. So I threw that away. And I tried to wipe the glaze off, but I couldn't get all of it off, so, yeah. And then there's um, an eye pin in the back, because I was going to attach this little dangly tail. But I need to repaint the face and get more glaze. So moving on to the food. This isn't a charm, but it's remit, and I have it in there. It's Hello Kitty Cream Puff. Then I have these two cakes, which I did a tutorial on. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. You've also seen this bracelet, too. It's a, like, Chinese theme. And I have two onigiris. I'll show you the face. Where is it? Oh, noodles. And, okay, I'm going to tell you why the face is so ugly on this one. Is because I painted the face and it was normal. And then I set it down and it started rolling on my table and it just messed it all up. So I'm going to take this charm off and redo it. Oh, and I have a fortune cookie. Like that. And I was so mad. So I made this dango and I have to glaze it. I haven't glazed it yet. Like, because I don't have any more glaze, which I need to buy some. I have this zombie cupcake. This panda bento box, and there's the pen. I want to make one of those that open and you can actually see the food. Then I have these ice cream sandwiches, which I also have a tutorial on, so check that out. And here's this like melon pan bun type thing. This was when I first started clay, which was like a year ago, and I didn't have a YouTube channel. And, like, all my charms were ugly, so I threw those away because... Well, I didn't throw them away. I still have them, but I'm not going to show you them because they're ugly. So here's a donut. And these used to be squishy. Like, I made them out of squishy stuff, but now they're all hard because they're old. I have this cupcake with a strawberry cane slice, a cherry, um, like, chocolate whipped cream with powdered sugar. Then, um, Alex Misfit Toys has a tutorial on this. Is these cupcakes in a, um, shoot, what is this? A tray baking thing. Then I have this milk charm. I'm going to make chocolate milk and strawberry milk as well later on. Eh. Then I have this hot dog. And I don't know if you can see that probably can't really see it but I did do texture on the um hot dog then I had this really big cheeseburger yes I say cheeseburger because it sounds so funny oh my gosh then 
like a little British person. Then I have this macaroon from Funky Pink Gals Tutorial. Then I have this bubble tea, which I think is so cute. It's in my favorite color, which is purple. And I think it turned out really good for my first one. But they're really not that hard to make. Then I have this squishy one. Not really squishy, but yeah. I have this bonbon type thing. Don't really know what to call it. And then I have this ice cream sundae on a plate. And then I have this macaroon. And it fell when I was doing this drizzle. And yeah. I don't have the other side because it was like a friendship charm thing. And mine fell at school in the hallway. Like there was an iPad on there. And me and my friends were running because I think we were about to be late for class. And I was running, and all of a sudden, I looked back, and it wasn't there. So I had to run back down the hallway and go find it. I was almost late to class. Then this is one of my favorite charms. It's like this bread charm, and it has a France flag. And somebody has a tutorial on this. I forgot. But, yeah. Isn't that so cute? And I um, dusted these with pastels. And I used bacon bonds in the corner to make the croissant and the bread stay. And yes, there's a Lego in here because I use that for the tray. Then this is my miscellaneous stuff. A clay button from Scrap Clay because I had scrap clay and didn't know what to do with it. So, button. And then this crayon box, which we have a tutorial on. So, go check that out if you want to learn how to make this. Super cute face. So, that's all my charms. All of this. And if you guys want to see my old ugly charms to take a laugh at me then comment down below and I will certainly do a um old first time charm collection thing but yeah they're really ugly I'm just trying to warn you anyways somebody requested for me to do a tutorial on one of my characters like Totoro or Rilla Kumana Strawberry but I don't know which one you'd like me to do a tutorial on so if you have a particular one you want me to do a tutorial on please comment down below so yeah, see you later guys.